Hello, my name is Robert. Welcome to my first uh, video about my modest shoe collection. I don't have, you know, a huge number of shoes, but uh, when I do purchase a new pair of shoes, I do a lot of research and, um, you know, I relied heavily on videos like these um, from other collectors like Wisconsin Shoe Guy and Jay Fix Patrick and others. And so I thought I would also give back and uh, do a couple uh, videos on some of my favorite shoes. Uh, so I live in Massachusetts. And uh, so Alden is, is definitely a shoemaker that I'm very familiar with. Um, I've spent a lot of time with uh, the, the fellows from the Shoe Mart down in, in Connecticut at their store. And um, my favorite shoes are Alden's. So these are a pair of Alden shoes on the Plaza Last. Uh, I wear these shoes very frequently. Any excuse really uh, to wear these. And uh, I think the Plaza Last is not well known. Um, uh, it is a soft square last. It's the most modern last that Alden has. So you can see this square, this toe shape is very elegant, I think. Um, now, uh, you may look at this shoe and say, where, where did he get that? Because I've never seen, uh, you know, this kind of cap toe derby style from Alden. So uh, I had some modifications done for, for these shoes. This is not how they came. So let's, I'm going to switch over to uh, my browser. I'm going to share a style forum post that I made when I, you know, initially was, um, you know, purchasing and working on these shoes. And, and I'll explain uh, how they got to this state because they have a custom patina on them. Okay, so let me see if I can share my browser. And we can see, hopefully you can see this. Um, so this was the, these are the original shoes. Um, this is an older model for, for Alden. Uh, I don't think many of the 2836 model uh, were made, I think around the 2018 timeframe. Um, I believe that they were, uh, you know, a batch that, that the shoe mart put together and requested. Sometimes they do this, they call this their um, bootmaker edition, right? So, um, so I found, I saw these on eBay, pretty much new kind of open box state, maybe worn once, and they are one size larger <laughs> than, um, you know, my typical size. So these are US 10, I typically wear a nine and a half. But I love the Plaza Last and I knew I wanted, uh, you know, a darker dress shoe with a museum, uh, you know, a museum effect patina. Um, and I knew I wanted to do that with a pair of Aldens and I saw these, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the versatility of a Derby uh, I'm a, I am a fan of derby shoes. I know a lot of folks, uh, blue shirt derby is not their thing. Um, but my dad was in the Navy, a naval officer. I've always had a thing for, for this style. Um, and so I purchased these off eBay for $386. So it was, I think, a fantastic deal. And then I had, I, I spent $150 with Greg Park. So Greg Park is a, a world famous patina artist. For me, he's a train ride away uh, down in New York City. And uh, he works for, with Jay Fitzpatrick at his shoe shop in New York City. So I went down there in the no NoHo neighborhood. Let me scroll down so you can see these beautiful, how beautiful they look the day after Greg had worked on them. Now, um, Greg apologized to me because when we had talked about what I wanted and I talked to him in person, I made an appointment and I spent some, I met Jay Fitzpatrick. I have photos with him and uh, well, awesome guy, obviously great to talk to. I bought a pair of shoes from him as well that day. Um, but when I talked to Greg, I wanted a copper uh, museum effect Um you know, uh, yeah, mu museum uh, patina. And he apologized because it, it came out darker 
than we had talked about, but it turns out I like this even better than what I asked for. Um, and these, these shoes have just, I mean, it just came out so amazing. Um, the quality of the leather on Alden shoes, really top notch, you know, prior to this, um, you know, I had really just experienced Allen Edmonds. Um, yeah, I had, I, and I think, yeah, prior to this, I, I had some court of shoes, right. From Alden. So I had a cup, I had another Alden, you know, I had some Alden, uh, indie boots, right. So I had never, and, but I had shined my shoes many, many times. Like, you know, I, I was already pretty familiar with how to take care of shoes and I was just so blown away with, you know, these shoes, I can get a mirror shine on them in five minutes. Um, you know, typically my tip, I wear them all the time on dates. And typically my routine is well, now I have uh, several layers of wax on there, high quality, severe wax. Uh, I just use a, you know, a quality hair dryer that, that has high heat hair dryer. And I melt the wax a little bit, use a little cold water and literally five minutes there's a mirror shine on them. And I think the reason that that's so easy to do is because the quality of the leather is really great for Alden, probably not even the best, right? Um, when we start looking at some of the higher end shoes that, you know, tanneries in France, I don't know where, I was trying to find out where Alden gets their leather from. Obviously they get their shell cordovan from Horween. Um, but uh, yeah. The quality leather is really great is one of the things that I really notice about these shoes and the love about them and the versatility as well. So let's let's go back to the live picture. We can, uh, you know, take a look here. Um, I mean, for me, what I this is probably, you know, I'm very picky with last nowadays with my shoes. You know, I, some of the other sources I get shoes from are Bass, TL, TLB Mallorca. And I mean, I think in the U.S., this Plaza Last is just like out of the U.S. shoemakers, the most elegant uh, last setters. I love just a slight square, you know. I don't like square last. And I don't like round last all that much either. So a modern round last, my, uh, you know, maybe my style. But this soft square, the way that Alden has done it, especially when you have a darker shoe like this, you know, um, unfortunately, the stock plaza models for Alden are almost always, from what I've seen, tan, light color. Um, but, you know, I, I think having a, a plaza cap to Oxford would be just gorgeous. I wish they would offer that. Of course, an Adelaide and plaza would be, I think, absolutely stunning i would love to see alden do something like that um so like i said i notice a huge step up in the leather with this shoe uh compared to what i'm used to uh it's a very versatile shoe you know i wear this um uh i'm in banking so i love to wear this at work uh, everyone's wearing uh, cap toes of some kind where I work it's just what you normally see and I feel like when I wear this I just I'm wearing you know the best cap toes around at, at work and it feels great um, and uh, you know so at work I'll put a you know odd jacket on with jeans and and they look great I mean the 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 fact that it's a derby um, and not an Oxford means that it's just like so much more versatile um could wear it with a suit i've done that before i wear it on dates all the time jeans and a jacket you know what i have on right now with jeans and these shoes um so almost any excuse to wear these shoes i wear them i love these shoes um and you know for why well, use since it's a patina artist has worked on this i usually use uh clear polishes so uh, Pat Deluxe uh, Clear, uh, you know, which is mostly beeswax, is just such an awesome, awesome product, which I use on the edges as well, uh, you know, to keep the ed edges looking good. Um, I'm in the habit of, of uh, you know, doing a shine and then, and then shining the edges a little bit to protect them as well. 
I had a little bit of, you know, I had a my local cobbler add this pad, this Vibram, uh, you know, half sole pad. Uh, so, you know, just because I'm, uh, I'm in uh, Massachusetts and in the winter, it's nice to have something so the shoes don't slip when I just have bare sole, you know, it really becomes more of a summer shoe for me. And this just makes it much more versatile. Um, other than that, I haven't done anything else. The heel is still the same. And, you know, this piece here is still the original sole from Alton. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, favorite shoes in my collection. Um, and, uh, you know, we have the Alden emblem inside. Um, and, you know, I have soft leather all around. Uh, in terms of the sizing, so, you know, I mentioned that... Um, this particular model, Cap Toe Derby, uh, for all that's not made today. It's not in their current catalog. And so when I saw a size that was, sim you know, one half size larger than mine, I just said, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this shoe. Uh, so I jumped on it for eBay. And what I've done is, you know, for me, since uh, often, you know, right now it's winter time here, I just have uh, thick wool socks that are black. So I wear darn tough. They have this model for darn tough that is a lot thicker than a typical dress sock, but it looks quite formal actually. Um, and, you know, so I, I wear those and these fit really great. They've molded to my feet pretty well. And that's how I, I you know, I, I did use an extra insole for a little while, uh, but now I just get by the broken them in and they, they fit quite well that way for me. So you know, that's not super ideal. I think later on at some, some, some point I will replace these with, you know, uh, you know, maybe something, an MTO with a little bit of modification to a last, I have that really perfect fit for, for shoes. But I think where I am today with my dress shoes, I'm just so, so very happy with these. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I would like to say about my favorite pair of shoes. Um, you know, quality shoes, uh, as as known by without with with Alden. I mean, uh, I think something that I notice about these shoes is um, when you look at the back of the shoe, you can see how tight this is. You know, you don't see this with Alden, with uh, Allen Edmonds, um, and really until I think for any other U.S. maker, you know, maybe Rancourt uh, might have a nice tight heel like this. Um, you know, it's it's a square heel. It's it's not you know something like you see with TLB, um, but a beautiful heel. You know, you can see. I think Alden people think of Alden and they think of you know, these, these, the, the Barry last. And I do, I have a, right now, what I have on is, is a pair of plain to toe bluchers and the Barry last. I love them. Uh, absolutely for plain toe blucher and Cordovan, shell Cordovan, I think also one of my favorite shoes I wear all the time, but for an elegant dress shoe, uh, you know, I have to say the Plaza last is absolutely my favorite. Um, I, I only wish they offered it uh, you know, with, with with more models, with more choices, uh, there's only a couple, a couple options with the Plaza Last that they come out with once in a while. You know, Capto Oxford and the Plaza Last, I think would be just a gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. So hopefully you can see that here and you can get some ideas of what you can do from ready to wear shoes um, with a, with, you know, a great patina artist with a couple modifications. There's a lot that can be done. And so hopefully these are some, this gives you some ideas for yourself, for your own collection. This wasn't ex also, I think this is a great deal. I mean, for the, for less than the price of a brand new pair of Aldens, um, you know, I found a, a great deal on eBay. Didn't spend much, you know, the train ride to New York city is, is pretty modest and um, the work that Greg Park does is worth its weight in gold. 
<laughs> he's just, he's really, really amazing. Totally transformed these shoes. So thanks very much for tuning in. I'll be showing, you know, some other things in my collection and, uh, you know, let me know what you think in the comments about these modifications to these, to these Plaza last, uh, blue shirts, plain toe blue shirts from, from Alden. Thanks very much.